everyone, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it has been quite a while since my last video and I've been reading a lot more, which is good because today is my March wrap up. I've read five books so far. I am on my sixth book. I doubt I'm going to get it read today, which is why I'm doing my wrap up now. So the first one I read was Unconventional by Maggie Harcourt. I rated this five stars. I have mentioned it before, I believe, and I really really enjoyed this. It was definitely my favourite book of the month. It's just full of relatable stuff in the fun way of like conventions and it's sweet because there's romance. The tension is just brilliant. I love it so much and it's definitely up there with like Fangirl and Anna and the French Kiss. You know, books I can reread and it's contemporary so it's not too heavy. You don't have to think too hard. It's just the best kind of summer read I think even though it's spring. But still, it's pretty good. Next one I read was My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I rated this one 4 out of 5 stars. Again, a really sweet book, although I did find it a little bit basic in the overall storyline, although because I found myself about halfway through, I was like, come on, something needs to happen. It was going a bit too smoothly all the way through. I don't know if I'll read this again, but I did thoroughly enjoy it enough to rate it four stars so next one i read was the sixth book in the geek girl series forever geek by holly smile i rated this four out of five no i rated this 4.5 stars out of five makes sense yeah <laughs> and i really enjoyed this although i did find the ending a little bit disappointing not not like overall but there was a part that happened near the end that really just ruined the mood for me so i i lowered the, you know i knocked off half a star otherwise it would have been a five star read for me um because i've loved the geek girl series from book one so this would have been a five star read if it had gone to plan yeah i'm really sad it's over because i've looked forward to these books every year and i mean granted i only got into them like three years ago but still i really enjoy them i want to miss them i want to miss harriet and everyone next one i read was a conjuring of light by v e schwab i rated this four out of five stars my only comment on goodreads was aww i, I mean i have notes for a review but i haven't written it yet because i don't really know how to phrase it i was going to do a video review but at the same time i don't know how to phrase it i really enjoyed this it was a definite page turner there were so there were a few things that put me off mostly like the sexual scenes and stuff so i kind of just skipped over them i love lila i love cal i love rye i you know just even holland like oh my god so yeah i'm just i'm gonna miss this series i'm so sad it's the end it was a really great story and uh, yeah, I can't believe it. I read it in like a week. I was pretty pleased with myself actually because it's 666 pages. And finally, I finished This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, V.E. Schwab, whichever one you want to call her. But 4.5 out of 5 stars. Brilliant. Love it. August and Kate are just fantastic. I love the whole idea of like the different kinds of monsters and and it kind of it had elements to me of like the Morganville books where you have to like pay for protection and then Vampire Academy where you've got all different kinds of vampires I know there's no vampires but they're very similar so I uh, kind of liked it very much so I've caught up on all of Victoria Schwab's books now and I'm really happy and that's it that's all the books I've read in March oh my god can you believe it it's like five I thought I was doing really badly I was in a hell of a, a reading slump in February so in January, so five books. Bingo. I'm currently reading The Scarecrow Queen, and I'm always saying The Scarecrow Queen. <laughs> it's annoying. And I am 150 pages into it and really enjoying it so far. It's definitely my favourite of the series. Definitely. There's a lot more going on and not such heavy description or not many lulls or anything, so I'm good. That's it for my video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you've read any of the books that I have read, please let me know in the comments. Tell me what you thought and give a thumbs up if you like. Subscribe if you haven't already i really really appreciate all the subscribers i have and i will see you again soon with another video Bye.